So now we need to go around all of these provinces or whatever to find these trials, and then hopefully it'll make them stop appearing. Which one are we going to again? Is it like the one that had all the shiny things and like the fancy auroras and the whales? You actually just sat here for over six hours telling me about a legend and all of your adventures for the past couple of days. Yeah. A lot happened! Mm -hmm. Why'd you have to go into that much detail? That took it's six a long fucking trip. hours! <laughs> it's a long trip! What do you expect? Lyuna or some shit? I mean, we're not already there yet? We've been on this fucking flying boat for over six hours and we haven't even gotten to the- Daytime? Based what on the fact that I see nothing but thing? sky and clouds, then I'm gonna assume we're still traveling. Oh, great. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm honestly impressed that I haven't managed to get that board. <sighs> hey, you came enough. down here, Clover. Yeah. But so I'm getting bored say in a second, now. but I kinda oh, um... wanna take a look above ground. Yeah, it's nice. I'm not going near the edge because you asked us. <laughs> Man, I missed <laughs> this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Cat, please. Right, I bet you You're could. not going near the edge, huh? Still traveling. <laughs> okay, um... So I don't have a thing with heights, but... I don't know if it's just that I'm not meant to be up here. Oh, yeah, but this is you... not doing anything for oh, me. Oh, I don't even like it. Like, you've been up here for, like, a hot it's couple of days, Lanny so... for me. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about, but the heights are fine. Exactly! You... Well, well Adrenity, the Aether usually doesn't... Bogle. How are you... I... I don't. <laughs> no, okay, no, the ship just rocked a bit. The ship just rocked a bit. No, it's fine. Oh, okay, you don't like you got lines. wings. It's a I'm not scared of heights. Getting it's like she said, I can fly. Yeah, so if, like, she did fall, she could just fly back up. You're not doing yep. me any favors. Fly back up. Little Wexy Wexy's getting scared. I'm not he scared. I'm not scared clouds. of shit. He's gonna I don't bark. get scared of anything. I'm perfectly fine. Let me just little me Rexy just, Wex. He's getting just scared. Drop the right here, and then just walk with this. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold on to this. All right, for support, because I don't feel like standing. <laughs> Wait, what, what's that? What's that? What the? No. Is that the wind? Rune is being. Thank you for following. Riley, my is dying. My counts are disappearing. Oh no! He's scared of the wind. <laughs> Should we How talk to people up here? Yeah, yeah let's go talk to people up not? here. Hey, Kyote. Hello. Fucking hate hey, you. Here. The young man would be pulling the ropes and the sails carefully, looking up at the balloon high above on the ship, monitoring its behaviors. Mmm. All right. Looks like everything is stable. Ah! He helps in fear when he notices you all standing there. Oh my goddess! Please don't sneak up on me and take my feathers! Hello. We, we weren't even touching you. Uh Okay, I'm sorry, please don't yell at me! Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, Kyote. They, they're not gonna hurt you, I promise. Are, are you sure? You, you said the Dread guy was super aggressive and liked to yell at people and shoot flux at them! Oh, please don't shoot me! Oh, so, so that's what you tell them about me, huh, Lily? Huh? Okay, okay, in my defense. Okay, oh okay, my god, it's, oh no, I made him angry. I'm gonna get called a clown now. I, I swear, I just want to do my job, man. Okay, let's change the, job, the subject. Um, what, what do you do on the ship? Marcy's gentler nature seems to temporarily soothe the easily anxious angel. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of a rigger on the ship. Also the navigator. Dreamer may be the captain, but I, I'm the one who made the ship and keeps it running. Oh, you, you actually made the ship? Mm-hmm. But Dreamer's still the captain and stuff like that. Um, Quixote messes with his hands nervously. I, I, um, I have a lot of work to do. I, I'm just gonna continue that or something. I'm sorry, please don't hurt me! I didn't say- I did say you only temporarily soothed him, didn't I? Oh, buddy. What the hell? Buddy. Really, Lily? Really? <laughs> okay, okay, in my defense, you do do all of those things. You do shoot plucks at people. You do. Yeah, and I do them. other things too. That's how you're going to introduce me to people I don't even meet. I didn't introduce. I never thought you would meet them, frankly, because you kept calling them awful people. Remember? Oh my god. You're like, oh, I never want to meet them. I don't know why you like them. Uh, just because I don't like them, that gives you an excuse to just call me whatever you want to to anyone. <sighs> no. Is this really how you perceive me? Oh my god, no. Look. Hey, Quixote! Rex is a clown! 
Oh. What are you Why doing? Did you say that. I don't know. You're doing Just great. Tweaking. Just keep Come doing on. your your thing. We'll leave you alone. <laughs> hey, Hecate. Hey. Why does she keep looking at me? Hecate would be watching Candy rather carefully with a confused expression. Her eyes move up and down, Candy, as if she's trying to gather information. Hey, Hecate. Um, you doing good? What the fuck? Is... is she a fallen angel? Hecate motions to Candy in confusion. I mean, I can see the ba the black wings, but then the gold horns? I'm confused. Are those decorative? I mean, last time I checked, she's a tread. But really, who fucking knows at this point? Oh. Hecate clears her throat quickly to change the subject. <clears throat> um, it's a rather lovely view out here, isn't it? Although, I'm glad that the troubles of last night are over now. I was becoming rather worried, you know. I'm worried about you all. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, it's true. I care about you all, and I wanted to make sure you're all doing alright after all- after that. It was quite the difficult creature, and you didn't even manage to defeat it. Barely stun it. We won't run into more of those, will we? Uh, so Hecate, who knows there might be that chance. Oh dear. She looks down for a moment, grimacing. Then... I suppose I'll just have to train with you all extra. Yes? To assure that I can help you all even more. Sure thing. Thanks, Hecate. I'm not a fallen angel! It's just a stereotype with black wings. Are, do, do dreads normally have wings, or is that just an aesthetic thing that you only um, have? I mean, they we, can have I don't wings, know, am I supposed to I use edgelord over not, there as a reference? I don't know, I've only ever- you're the only dread with wings that I know. Oh, look at Echo I in the shadows, like a true edgelord. Wait, where? <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> 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 I want to talk to Clover though, because we missed her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's down here, I think. <clears throat> hey, Clover. Yeah, why not? The small, mute angel Clover would wander around the kitchen, making some sort of pastry. Then glance back at you all and simply give you a small and friendly wave. They're such a sweetie. Hello. Hello. You know, I like being not on the deck, actually. This is pretty nice. He Hello, Shadowko. I'm guessing it's just you can't see what's going on outside. I can't I'm reach. gonna be I honest. I'm lost. Oh. Midi? Oh, I love this game! Don't you, Dreamer? You're totally gonna go down this time! <laughs> Whatever you say. How are you doing, Fallen? Dreamer Dream glances back. What the fuck are we playing? Echo says. Yeah, I'm not about to sit here and play cards or something. You go you have, have fun, fun with then. that. Hi. Dreamer, Mitty, and Echo would be gathered around <laughs> in a common area, playing a card game of some sort. Can't exactly understand it, but you notice that the cards themselves seem reminiscent of your own card games in your world, with four symbols and cards numbered from 1 to 10. However, the face cards have been changed to Valkyrie for Jack, Priestess for Queen, and Goddess for Ace. The king card remains the same. Dreamer would notice you and grin. Morning, heroes. Fancy a game of cards? I mean, sure. Why not? As you all sit down around the table, Dreamer would collect the cards from everyone around him and shuffle them, dealing the cards out once more before leaning back, looking over his cards. So, crazy night, huh? Honestly, I didn't expect you people to actually succeed with that dissipation thing. If I'm being honest, I gave you that challenge to see if you'd at least put in the effort to try. I didn't expect you to actually find a way to dissipate the spirit. There's some pretty crazy grenades, huh? He places down a four with swirls in the corner. Echo scoffs, drawing some cards. Asshole, she mutters. It seems the game is sort of like crazy eights. A friend gave them to us. Still, pretty impressive work. That should definitely be helpful in this little quest of yours. Mitty would shuffle through her cards and put down another card of her own. I could 
didn't really care what we're doing. I was just getting bored of Etheria. Such a dull place, you know? They're like, no fun people there. Everyone's so serious. Blah. Mitty says. It's not too bad, I guess. Echo shrugs, looking through her cards with a confused look. Looks like she's still trying to understand the game herself. Mm, I honestly will probably need to go back there at some point. Boring! Mitty complains. <laughs> no, no, Mitty. You can never stick your nose up at your roots. Your theory isn't all that bad, right? You always seem to have fun when we mess with Charmaine, right? Or Braylon? Dreamer sorts his cards through his hands carefully, looking over all of them. Carefully. Mitty sighs. Yeah, but that's because they're boring too. Messing with boring people is always funny. It would be then that Mitty perks up. But you guys aren't boring. You're at least a little different and interesting, you know? Especially when you bring along three Fallens. Echo frowns a bit and sighs, sinking down in a chair. Cool. Didn't think I'd be some spectacle on this quest thing, but that's fine too. She she doesn't mean it like that, right? I need to... No, I, I totally mean it like that. I've never seen a Fallen before. Then again, how would we, right? You can't exactly come to Aetheria. <laughs> Mitty laughs. Right. Thanks. Echo scowls at her slightly before looking back at her cards. Dreamer gives Mitty a look before sighing. Forgive her. Echo, was it? She doesn't know how to not speak her mind sometimes, I'm afraid. Hey, Dreamer, that's mean! Mitty says. It's true. You've never been able to hold your tongue or know when sometimes things don't need to be said out loud. <laughs> You're being so mean to me right now. Mitty complains, huffing. I'm just telling you how it is. You've always had this problem. Oh, so starting fights with your crewmates? Not very fitting for a captain. Dreamer raises an eyebrow as he places down his next card, a bit unimpressed by your attempt at upsetting him. If this is your way to assert leadership over my crew, it won't work like that. I've heard plenty of what you're like from our good friend Lily. Oh! Have you now? You're not necessarily that strong of a leader yourself. Being correct doesn't make you right, you know. That doesn't follow. Echo shakes her head. If you're correct about something, then you're right. That's as simple as it is. No way! Mitty sticks her tongue out. Being all correct and factual or whatever is so boring. Cause then you're just gonna get to think that because you know something is right, you think you're God or something. Man, I'm so done with people who think they can play God. It's not called playing God, it's called being right, Echo says. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> I think it's clear that all of our opinions are a bit different. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's silence before Echo would just sigh. Whatever. I don't get this game. I'm getting some air. With that, Echo would toss her hand down on the table and walk outside. Mitty just stares and huffs. Hey! I'm the only one who can make a dramatic exit. Mitty would throw down her cards next and leave also. They're left alone with Dreamer, who just rubs his temples. <sighs> Whatever. Just... When do we get to... Wherever we're going? According to the map you showed me, the closest mark that the priestess gave you will be the province of Avalon. Guy's got us on a route there. We'll just pass through the Ethereum gates and be on our way. It'll take a day or two till we get there, probably. Uh, Aetherian gates? <laughs> Did you think that the game of Aetheria was that open all the time? There are blocks and blocks of wall that surround the entirety of the kingdom. Don't worry, though. The gates are always open, <laughs> there are almost never any Valkyries around here. Uh, why would we need to worry about Valkyrie? I mean, Aetheria loves us. You think that all Valkyries in the Aether belong to Aetheria? Here's a little news flash for you. No matter what you do, there's still plenty of people who see you as nothing but groundlings. And no matter what the king says, groundlings are dangerous. I told you the trip would be dangerous. 
I didn't tell you all the dangers. <laughs> Just be careful which angels you choose to trust them. Yeah? What about you, then? How do we know we can trust you? <laughs> I haven't killed you yet, have I? <sighs> We're gonna explore, Dreamer. Jesus Christ. You like that guy? Yeah, he's pretty chill, actually. Yeah, that's definitely one way to describe it. I guess anyone would be pretty chill, you know, if, you know, they just act one way all the time. They don't give it to you straight, like I do. Oh, but I guess you don't like to keep things straight either, do you? What is that supposed to mean? Are we really going to start an argument now? Whatever. No. Fine. Look, you obviously have something to say. You said you're straight with me, so be straight. Nah, being right is not, or being correct isn't always right, huh? Are you seriously upset about what he said? It's upset about what you said. Well, one of the opinions are built on your opinions, Lily. When I left for this trip, we weren't in a great place. Oh, yeah, and I'm glad to see that that evidently hasn't changed. I think it has. Yeah? I have a lot more respect for who you are now. Yeah, but not as much as him, right? Whatever, look. What is Echo's that supposed to- Look, hey, look at me. Hey, Echo. Are you see? <sighs> Echo looks off the edge of the ship in contemplation. You alright, Echo? I don't know. Should I be? Or should I not be? She sighs, leaning over a bit more, her wings tucking down a bit. Now I'm just confused more than anything. I feel like I should know how to feel about everything. But the more we asked around today for answers, the more confused I got! How am I supposed to feel about anything? About who I was? That... That paper that Azrael gave us? Do you think that was you? Honestly? I don't even know anymore. She stands up straight then, stretching her arms. The entire thing is just exhausting, not having a purpose. You're lucky, you know. You know what you're doing in this world. You know what how you want your life to go. But some of us, people like me, we don't even know what we used to want, let alone what we want now. You need a past to have a present. Last night was exhausting. I'm taking a nap. Just wake me up or something when we get to Ava, wherever. Echo would begin to walk below deck, leaving you all above, looking out at the endless skies. Hmm. Get there soon, right? I think so. I'm gonna hurl. Let me just- I'm just gonna sit here in the corner for a bit. Tell me something interesting gets seen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> hey! Wait! I see something! Oh. Holy oh, shit! Hey. It's so good. Oh my god, I'm close to the edge. Um, we're here. Ooh, I can't Make see my it. way over. My red Holy shit! Let me see it. Hold on, I want to oh, see. Oh, just see. get closer. Just get closer. You'll see it. Oh. See what? This place is oh, giant. That's Huge. a fucking gate. That's a fucking. Oh, okay. That's a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a big ass gate. <laughs> It would be very easy to push you off the edge right now. Don't. Why would you want, want to do think that? About it. <sighs> okay, I think I forgot to. I forgot to, to remind you about that one. Be careful about this one. She. Look, come over here. Apparently, spirits, when they're like afflicted with light or something, I th or like different things, I think it affects how they Ooh, behave, yeah, right? Apparently, when spirits and ghosts are afflicted with the light, they get a lot more fun. 
You almost knocked that me off the edge of the top. How is that fun? It's I'm very sure. fun. Just, she's gonna Does be. She have wings or whatever. Why can't you use them? If that is, why are you afraid of getting Are you off? like the chicken over here? Oh my no, god, I've you're flown. like the chicken! You've watched me yeah. fly before. I know how to and fly. Cat, look, you I can just... do this now. I can do this now. Well, yeah, sure, but that's not flying. This is flying. It's probably hey, bigger than the walls of Vanguard. Yeah, I think it is. Oh god. Yeah, this shit's really massive. Before. I thought he you said it was open. Like didn't you say so, it was open? So, so why didn't you just, like, yeah, why didn't close. you do it just now? Just ignore I mean, it. We... Just talk to the ship people or something. What are we supposed yeah, to do now? Hey, here. whatever. I think let's go from the... anxiously muttering to himself. Glad to see nothing's changed there. Uh... Consistency. Midi? <laughs> We're so screwed. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Clover? Clover. Clover looks up at the closed gates in horror. Oh, no. um, <laughs> oh, I don't see Echo or Hecate, so I'm gonna guess we don't need to talk to them right now. I'm guessing they're hiding. Dreamer? Dreamer? Hey, um, I don't know how to break this to you, but uh, you didn't sound very correct just now. The gates are closed? That's... Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! What? Well, everyone Wait, seems what? so very chipper about everything. Below deck, uh, deck now. Why? Oh, why? Okay, okay, why are we going below deck? deck? I don't know why. I don't know why. Why, why are, are we, we going, going below deck? deck? He just Pat, said go on. below deck. Fine. Okay, we're below deck. Oh, there's Hecate. Oh, here they are. What is yep. going on? Oh, are you sure I can't? Just, like, I'm not trying to put this in a layman speak, all right? But one leads to the other. That face means that something just went wrong. I know something else is seriously wrong. wrong. Shut the fuck up! Can't you hear the footsteps above? Okay. Should we go in the room? Maze? Look, just shh. Be quiet, or else we won't be able to hear. Shh. God, this guy's got enemies too. What the fuck, man? I'm pretty sure everyone has enemies these days. Yeah, he's a. Yeah, I'm the one. Why enemies. would you expect him to oh be God. like completely in the right with everyone? Fuck. Uh oh. Well, that's fine. He's just look. He gets arrested. We'll just carry on without him. It's okay. No, that's not fine. Do you know how to drive an airship? Hey, yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll figure it out. Exactly. Uh -oh. That one's not that's fine. That's not fine. Fuck. 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 Wait, they're searching the ship. Can we get out of here? Where do we go? Do your friends or something have anything they can do? Um, I mean, beats me. I go. Okay. Hi guys. Catch gotcha. You could hide on the outside. Holy shit, holy shit! Good idea. Damn it, this isn't happening! We're not getting caught here, okay? She grabs the railing nearby and pulls. Come on! The railing breaks. Oh. Okay. Well, nice job, Echo. <laughs> That's a nothing for us, because they can't fly. Okay, do you have an uh, idea? Fuck, fuck. Okay, you got anything? What in the gods is going on? The gates are closed, but. That's never happened! Oh dear, if they find us, we're done for. I will have- I'll have to do something! She closes her eyes, beginning to sing and hum. Well, that's lovely, but what's that doing? Do the quieter, do the little bit quieter! Yeah, okay. oh. You should come out. Okay, wait, 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 Imagine being so bad at parkour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to move. Go, Marshy! Move it, idiot! I'm fucking bad at parkour, bro. I'm the ladies first. I ha, 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 sincerely ha, hope that oh, nobody on the deck sees there goes you guys. Lily. Lily, no. Move, move, move. Just move. Just... Oh Maybe hey, hide behind the wall so that the people who just went on the ship don't see the people who just got off the ship. Yeah, while we wait for um, yeah, the plot idiots to get brought back. Yeah, I'm just kind of chilling here right now. Okay. Where are we? 
Um, we're, a... we're on another ship. Oh, hi. Uh, hi oh, wait, guys. I know this guy. Hello. Oh, you oh, this is really awkward. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. Um... <laughs> hey, I recognize you. You're the heroes. I didn't know you managed to get a ride. Do you remember me? The young man steps forward to reveal himself to you all. You immediately recognize him as Hans, the nice worker on the docks the day before. Yeah, Hans, right? You were with that training company or whatever? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's me. Uh, what are you all doing on our ship? D did you just jump along the clouds from that pirate ship over there? Were you getting smuggled or something? Okay, please, keep your voice down. Can you help us? No. The server said no. <laughs> Hans looks around for a moment. Help you? Are you kidding? Etheria owes you so much for saving King Seraph. What do you need from me? Listen, we just need a way to get to the gates. Uh, our shipping crew kinda just got arrested. Yeah, now we gotta bail that shit out. Oh god. Wait, you were with the pirates? I thought you were being held against your will. Um, that makes this a bit more complicated. I'm not sure if Winona would like if we helped you with something so illegal. You guys are heroes, right? Um, heroes have to do bad things sometimes? <laughs> Here, let's talk to Winona about this, okay? If she's alright with it, then maybe we can help you somehow. I just don't want our trading company to get in trouble, you know? But I do want to help you all, obviously. I don't want to jeopardize your mission. Just go through that door over there. Winona should be in there. You can talk to her. Thank you, Hans. Should we talk to the other people on the dock? On the ship first? I guess so, they were kind of here. Yeah. Who's this fella? Stowaways? <laughs> With the no wings? Hans, do you know these people? You seem shocked to see them. And now we're still ways on another airship in the Aether. I can't believe you talked me into coming. What do you mean? You're what the one that are you talking about? <laughs> You're the one that followed us here. Potato you tomato. You stalked us. That's not yeah, how that works. Oh my god, it's, we're gonna get arrested and die! Oh okay, god. well that's definitely- okay, no, One of those okay. things might happen, I'm not too sure about the second one. Join me. We're so screwed. Echo, you're- That's pretty optimistic yeah, for you, Echo. Uh, your powder <laughs> fell off your wings. This is That's good. optimism?! Oh, their powder <laughs> fell off too. Yeah, oh, you're right. Okay, but Hecate's no. powder just ascended. Hecate's the powder, powder transferred. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh. Hang on there, Stowaways. You sure you want to go in there? I thought Winona has a headache or something today. And again, who wouldn't? Right, theory to suddenly shut the gates like this? Unheard of. You guys got schedules here, you know? <laughs> oh god. Oh, there's like just here? one more person before oh, yeah. we go in. Agnes. Hey, I don't think Winona will like some random wingless people in here. I think you should leave. Somehow I'm not entirely sure how you do that part, but um, how do wingless people fly anyway? <laughs> what a question. Pixie dust. <gasps> True. Let's just go down <laughs> over the- oh, Yeah, well, um, I definitely don't want to go out of a theory the hard way. So, let's hope that this person is reasonable. Is... I, I mean, I'm kind of out of money, ooh. so... Um, I hope I they take Endyrion. Hi! They don't. They don't. Hey! The authoritative young woman would stand within the office, looking through a multitude of papers carefully. When you enter, she would quickly glance in your direction with narrow and keen eyes. Hmm. Quite the interesting stowaways you are. Um, we aren't stowaways. Are you Winona? That I am. I'm the captain of this ship for the Arcadia Trading Company. To whom do I owe the pleasure, then? Well, uh, we're the heroes of Etheria. Heroes? You certainly don't dress the part. Then again, I suppose not all heroes wear <laughs> halos, yes? So then, heroes, what are you doing on our ship? Uh, we need to get to Avalon, but our ship and crew kinda, um, got taken in. Huh, 
Interesting. Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> she crosses her arms, looking over each other and every one of you. Nice, Lila. Looking over each and every one of you. Shut Yay! Up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Certainly a cute little party you have. And you want to take this party to Avalon? Those miners will eat you alive. And we'll shake our chances if it means saving your ungrateful, sorry asses. <laughs> she smirks a bit. I like you. Spunk. Confidence. You don't get enough out of that out here in the Aether. She hops onto a table, crossing her arms and spreading her wings to com their complete span. You notice that one of her wings is heavily injured due to the extent do uh, uh, injured to the extent that you can see the fleshy, featherless underbelly of her wing is completely scarred and visible to you. So what's your story? Let's chat. Why go to Avalon? How will that save Etheria? Well, you know spirits, right? Um, we're going to try and find the goddess seal and stop them. Quite the ambitious dream to chase. Thinking of yourselves as priestesses now? I thought you were heroes. You have to choose one title, otherwise you'll confuse people. Yeah, how about neither? We aren't priests and we aren't heroes. We don't have a working server either. <laughs> <laughs> her answer, tapping her fingers against her chin. And? What would you have my ship do? We have business of our own, remember? Plenty of places to visit for ourselves. Why should we put our efforts into your cause? <sighs> Look, we just need to free our friend Dreamer and we'll be out of your hair. That's it. Alternative solutions also welcome. We're not doing an alternative solution. Her eyebrows raise. Dreamer. She takes a moment to glance at each of you and then out of her own door. She takes a moment to chuckle. <laughs> my, my. That's a surprise. Uh, I, I, excuse me? So he finally got himself caught. <laughs> How sloppy. One could bridge for the wingless ones. Try again. One, fuck! One cloud bridge for the wingless ones. You take it, you leave it and go over to find your friends. How does that sound, hmm? Wait, you'll actually help us? <laughs> what the hell, I'll bite. Could be a bit of fun to watch some groundlings running around wrecking havoc in those annoying walls. Besides, let's just say that you have to do me a favor in return. Yeah, of course we do. What the hell do you want? When you find Dreamer, Tell him when said hello. That's all. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, that's not suspicious at all. Uh, Yo, no, I could give less of a shit. Let's just get moving. We got a cloud bridge with our name on it. Yep.